Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and in this video, we're going to look at how we can add a custom background to Microsoft Teams that we've created ourselves. So, if you see this example here, what I've done is I've created a custom background that's got some tips for students on how to engage in a Microsoft Teams meeting. And then, what I've done is then set this as a custom background. So, this could be useful for doing what I've done, but also being able to engage students if you're telling a story, for example, and having a background that you've made. You could have, for example, learning objectives in your background and more. So I'm going to show you how to do this using PowerPoint. I uh, hope you find it useful. So here you can see I've made my team's background. I've just used PowerPoint and you can download this example from the description. Here in the middle is where you're going to be placed. So you just need to put a placeholder for where your picture or yourself is going to be. And then here I've put my tips around Microsoft Teams. This could be learning objectives or anything else that you want to present to the students. This example, we're just doing tips. Here, then I'm going to click File and choose Export. And then what I'm going to do is export this as an image for my team's background. You can use JPEG or PNG. I tend to use JPEG. And then you can also edit the width and the height. Now, 1080p is around the same. That's probably fine, but you can up it to 4K if you want. Once you've exported that, you'll see that this has created an image from the presentation. So if you can see now, I'm just going to go and open up this and it will have created a JPEG that you can use for the background. Now, sometimes what can happen is that can actually flip um, because of like webcam settings. So we are going to make another one that is flipped. So a quick idea for this is to create a new slide and then just drag in the image that you've already created and then just flip it. So here you can see I've put it into PowerPoint and then what I'm going to do is just flip this so it's back to front. Now, you might not need to do this. This is just an extra step if your webcam does flip the image. So I've just created them both. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to export that image as well. I'll just give it a slightly different file name. And then I'm going to export that as well. Again, just make sure that you choose JPEG to export your image and the correct settings. Now, the two videos in the description and just below will show you how to access your uploads folder where you can actually put these files in because Microsoft does not yet allow you to upload those images. So I'm just going to go directly into this upload folder, but you can have a look at that. Once I've done that, I'm just going to drag and drop these images in to my upload folder. Again, remember, look at the other videos if you need some advice on how to do that. So just drag in those images into the upload folder. Once I've done this, I'm going to open up Microsoft Teams and join a meeting. So here you'll see I'm just going to open up a test meeting and I'll show you how this now looks. So what you'll need to do is turn the background setting on and then you can navigate down. As you can see, mine's not flipped, so I can use this image. But if it is flipped, use the other image and it will display it the correct way. We'll just join the meeting now and you'll see this working in full screen. And as you can see here, I can just place myself a little bit within that frame and away I go. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to Teach Blend. Thank you.